This tutorial provides an overview of the formative assessment process that is part of every student activity and the features of the formative assessment review screen. I'll begin by simulating a student experience. This student, Sarah, is clicking on the blue arrow to log in to her assigned activity. You can see that she's been assigned an activity that deals with adding and subtracting improper fractions. We'll click through some of the examples. She begins by working with models only. Then she begins manipulating the models to show both the denominator and the numerator. She progresses to adding in the numerals with the models present. And eventually she comes to examples with numbers only. Once Sarah completes all of the practice examples, she will come to the formative assessment. Every activity contains a formative assessment. These assessments consist of six examples. Although students receive strategic feedback when working in the practice examples, during the formative assessment, they only receive feedback that tells them if their answers are correct or incorrect. Upon completing all of the examples in the formative assessment, Sarah will come to the formative assessment review screen in which she can see her performance. There are three sections in this screen. The first is the results, and it shows her results in the form of a fraction, 5 6, as well as a fraction model. You'll notice that it takes five out of six examples to pass the formative assessment. The second section is the evaluate section. This allows students and their teacher to click on the View My Progress button to go back and look at examples that were correct and incorrect. Finally is Next Steps. Sarah simply clicks to go to her next activity. If the student passes, they move on without any teacher involvement. Now let's take a look at the formative assessment for a student who has not passed. Here is the formative assessment review screen. In the results section, you will notice that it indicates that the student received 3 out of 6 or 3 6 correct and has a fraction bar model showing that the student has not reached the pass line. At this time, the student should be encouraged to gain the teacher's attention. Clicking the View My Answers under Evaluate, both the teacher and student can go through each example. This provides the teacher with an opportunity to correct any misconceptions and to learn why the student was unable to pass. Visual feedback is provided, in this case indicating the error is in the numerator, along with the strategic feedback which can be read aloud. You can see in this example, along with the previous two, that the student clearly understands the need for a common denominator, but does not understand or makes errors with the numerator perhaps in this case subtracted 7 from 8. The student can correct and receive feedback and this does not impact the data. Once again we have an error with the numerator. In this case probably a computation error. This final example shows that the student misinterpreted the sign using addition rather than subtraction. Upon completion, the teacher and the student now go to next steps. The teacher can determine what the student should do next. Either do another activity like this and try to focus on making less computation errors, practice with support, which is a remedial activity that provides more modeling and language support, or work on a preskill, and the preskills are defined below. This formative assessment process allows teacher to have multiple opportunities to check individual understanding, review student errors, and engage in discussions that can clear up misconceptions. It is the teacher that then determines the student's next step.